In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the flame sensor in your furnace. Well, my furnace, but yours should be a similar process. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go change and get this done. Come on. Now, if you clicked on this video because you're wondering if your flame sensor is bad, you're probably gonna wanna check out the video that we made about some basic furnace troubleshooting and how to tell if your flame sensor is bad. Or maybe you wanna check out the video we made about testing your flame sensor. There's a link to both of those down in the description. The most common reason that a flame sensor doesn't work is because it gets dirty. We made a whole video about how to clean the flame sensor. There's a link to that video also down in the description. But this video is about how to replace a flame sensor. So if you've cleaned it, you've tested it, and you're sure that the circuit board isn't the issue and replacing it is what you want to do, you've made it to the right video. Now, before we replace the flame sensor, uh, we want to make sure that we have the right flame sensor because there's different lengths, there's different shapes, uh, the screw holes that hold them in place can be in different locations. And even though you can order a universal flame sensor online, your best bet is probably to look up the local distributor for whatever brand furnace you have. And if you give them the serial number and the model number, they'll be able to get you the right part. Once you have the right flame sensor, the first thing you wanna do is actually shut power off to the furnace and remove the door exposing the burner assembly and that's where you'll find the flame sensor. The next step is to identify and remove the flame sensor. If you've gotten this far and you've already gotten the right part, you probably know which is the flame sensor and you won't make the mistake that a lot of homeowners make by mixing up the flame sensor and the igniter. The flame sensor usually has one wire coming off of it and the igniter has two. So disconnect the wire coming off the flame sensor, remove the screw holding it in place, and then slide the old flame sensor out. put the new flame sensor back in the way the old one came out. Make sure to place the rod in the path of the flame and also be careful not to touch the steel rod with your fingers. The oils on your fingers can get on the rod and muck it up and make it not work the way that it's supposed to. Then tighten the screw back down that holds it in place. Reconnect the wire. Put the doors back on. And turn the power back on. The next thing you want to do is actually go to the thermostat and turn the temperature up so that the furnace comes on. I can actually control mine uh, from my phone. What you want to do is you want to listen for the flame to ignite and stay on. If it does, you're good. If not, you may have something more serious wrong and need to have an HVAC technician or company come out and take a look and do more diagnosing. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button. It lets us know that you like the videos that we're putting out. And if you do like them, Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when we release new videos. Until next time, good luck with your next project. And remember, if you ever feel like you've gotten in over your head or maybe it's not going the way you think it should, it's okay to stop and call a technician that you trust for some help. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.